I just finished my first drive and it was a zero disengagement drive. Uh, we're gonna see if Target can do the same thing. Uh, this is not where I normally start, but it's close enough to my to my parents. But um, this is gonna be a first hard test of can it make it out of this? There's a car coming. I can barely see it through the through the weeds. And he's that Tesla's coming back through. There we go. I can see that car on the right. It should go. Yeah, this is that's improved. Still. Okay, and this is a pleasant acceleration. This is this is exactly what I would do accelerating. This is good. Before it was, uh, there have been times where it's too aggressive. This has actually been really great. So everyone, um, again, if you didn't see my last video, go ahead and see that. It was my first zero disengagement drive with version 10. Uh, I don't know what changes between the days. I swear, everyone swears at some point they flip some switches between each drive. They like have a second neural net loaded and it decides, it, it flips it after every night every day it flips it so it does a b testing with each individual car i'm not sure what happens but this is quite a bit improved for me today but speed limit here again the speed limit signs are incorrect once routing is fixed for me or mostly fixed for me we have very few issues then speed limits and routing mapping data is what i want to see improved next i want it to be able to read the sign up ahead and start speeding up to the sign and read uh, in or slowing down for the sign based on what I'm going and based on my offset and that would make the driving experience much more pleasant as well and that I think is a lot easier fix they can go ahead and do that now and be relatively easy to fix the routing issue is an AI issue and as much as I'm harping on it I want it to be fixed now I, I do understand it's gonna be a slow fix that's not gonna be an overnight fix I think it can be improved substantially in the next couple months to allow it to release to everyone else but um i do think that requires quite a bit of work to um perfect if you will it, it'll never be perfected but it'll you know march of nines as they said let's see how this does it should slow down going around this curve a little bit too much to be honest um but it doesn't need the blinker on her here and this is a continuous road So, this is too sl too slow, well, quite a bit too slow. I'm glad somebody's not behind me. I can easily go the speed limit, uh, which is 35, down this road. Um, just, I, I mean, I'm used to curves. The, this could definitely go faster going down this road. I think it actually 35 is really quite comfortable and going down this road. But um, obviously it makes it no problem. This was actually an early test route for me to go down this road here to see how autopilot can handle curves. When I first got autopilot, it couldn't even get close to handling that hill. Not even close. Then over time, the update slowly got better, and I remember the first time uh, on an autopilot, it was like it finally made that hill. It didn't disengage on that hill. And um, now full self driving does it like a piece of cake. It doesn't even have to try. It could be doing it faster, and I think, I think it could handle it at a higher speed. It just has to be programmed to do higher speeds on curves and that's um i'm one of the few testers in a curvy mountainous area so that's that's going to be our biggest issue this could have slowed down sooner this subaru isn't paying attention okay this is a big intersection made that mostly fine so I tried to slow down again for those lights. I don't know what's changed with um, with 10 regarding that, but I haven't had that since like version 9 or version 8.2 or something, the way it would slow down for the flashing yellows. Obviously it didn't stop for them, but you know, that's uh, still a problem. Anyway. So it's still slowing down a little bit for that car. It could have, um, could have maintained speed, should I say? 
Got this red car trying to cut out in front of us. That's good, my car did not slow down whatsoever. So you should slow, 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 there you go, okay. That car decided to go through it. That is appropriate move in my car. I should have just automatically put full region and it would have stopped and would have had to probably use some brakes, but yeah. That was a quick break, if you will. And to be honest, I probably should have got in the right lane there. Um, maybe past that Subaru, it should have changed lanes. I'm gonna go ahead and actually tell it to move over because it's, uh, oh, no, no, no. That's why it's in the left lane. We're, I don't want it to take the interstate. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's the problem. It went the oh, it went the interstate instead of the alternate route. This messed up our entire test. Oh, no. Navigate to target. Well, we're still going to make this a test. Like, it's still going to get there, and then we're going to get on the interstate that way. It's frustrating. Okay. I, it's, I just... I don't go this way very often. I don't um, go to Target ever. Um, and if I do, I'd be taking the highway because from my house. But um, so I wasn't thinking I need to take the back roads. I shouldn't, at the very beginning, should have stayed straight instead of taking a right onto that test road I was talking about. But um, mistakes happen. Um, I just wasn't paying attention to how Nav wanted to go because the last time there was traffic on the highway and it didn't want to take the highway for route. Uh, so I really do hope they add in um, avoid highways to um, to navigation. Uh, maybe they'll add that when they add waypoints. And uh, obviously at minimal, I could then manually route with waypoints to fix these problems. Because I think that's gonna give them a lot more driving data for roads once they allow waypoints so we can avoid the highway essentially. So fortunately, there hasn't been a single disengagement. The, the, the one disengagement, obviously, well, actually, no, it didn't disengage, did it? And the, um, I just canceled navigation and restarted it. Yeah. So, this has been a really good drive, um, besides my mess up, in terms of where I wanted to go. I didn't, I wasn't thinking it would take the highway, so that's, that's my fault, but we're still gonna call this a unique drive. We won't be able to trace it completely like we did on the other drive, um, but it'll still uh, give us a good test. Yeah, so this is gonna be a good test here of when it gets in the turn lane. I've seen it get in the turn lane too early a lot of the times. Uh, so that's gonna be an interesting spot. Not this intersection, sorry. Next intersection, see that's just even me having issues reading the map. Yeah, it gets in this lane. To turn. There you go. There you go. Is it gonna stop? It, I'm gonna push it through. Oh, there you go. Come on, go through. <laughs> I have the press accelerator. Go! <laughs> I don't, and I wasn't sure if there was a car behind me. Like, I was trying to, like, pay attention where the car was going. It just, it was just stopping. It just, like, didn't want to go. So, okay. So it didn't disengage. Obviously interventions, but it didn't disengage. So that's what we're looking for. Those things I expect to happen for a while where I'm gonna have to adjust the speed and confidence level accordingly. The, the goal is that it just doesn't completely mess up the way it's just like, I'm gonna turn right on a left intersection. That's, that's happening. Um, so those are what we're looking for not to happen. Interesting intersection. And really good. I would like to have avoided those potholes. Uh, they weren't really bad, but they will be one day. And it will get to the point that I'm gonna have to disengage uh, to avoid them if the car doesn't. It's a good turn test. I'm supposed to slow down quite a lot for this. It has no lines on the road either. 
Okay, okay. And you even did it faster than the, the speed limit. It's nice. I think those are really more suggested speeds going around the turn, maybe. But, um, yeah, it made it. This is going to be another good test. Good thing we have a light. The, the lines aren't... Now turn left on okay, yeah, they are. Okay. See how this, how this works with this intersection here. We've got a car that's going to want to go straight by the looks. And so we have to wait for that car right here. Wait a second. Okay, no, I am in the right turn lane. These lights, these lights up here are really at a weird spot. I thought I wasn't in the turn lane. I'm not quite sure what. There's only two, there's only two lanes right here. I don't know why there's three lights. I guess that was a green only for me. Oh, God, okay. No! Oh, that was a... Okay. That was... That's... Mm, okay. I was... It's like... Guys, everyone. You can call that emotional. I just call that just being like... It's just like, it was so close. I'm just calling it like... I mean, it's excitement, if you will. Like, to me, like, I'm just, I don't show my emotions well. Like, to me, that's like, yeah, it's disappointing. And I'm just like, it was so close. I'm like, yeah, it's just like, like, if you're watching sports or something, I don't know. And they just like, you're just like, they're almost to the end. They're almost to the finale. Look, there's a target sign. They're almost to it. And like, like, down, like it's on a race or something. And the guy falls over. That's literally the equivalent. Okay. Um, second disengagement. It, that's a routing issue. It missed the turn. It, so, two disengagements for this drive, everyone. Um, what can I say? It, all the way to the very end. That's disappointing. And both of them were uh, routing issues, path prediction issues. So, that's... That's all I can say. They were both path prediction issues. Um, I'm gonna actually turn around, and then we're gonna head back straight to the highway. I actually don't need to stop here. I was just for a test. Okay, but everyone, so I'll pause right here just to give my final thoughts. So, yeah, again, I think both of those could have been avoided if routing was improved. I think maybe the first engagement was due to me pressing the accelerator. And when I do that, I notice that the car just decides just to just go for it on whatever weird path is it, thing it has to take. I'm going to review the footage, and I will put some notes here in this video um, about it. But I think that's a big reason why it failed on the first one. The second one, it, it was all on its own. It just missed the turn. It just didn't see the turn, turn lane there, and it just missed it. So that was... that That's our reason. And so there's two disengagements for this drive, but otherwise... I think this is drastically improved from yesterday's drive. This is what I would expect for version 10. This is this is still what I would expect. This is still improved over 9.2. Not I don't think it's mind blowing, but it is improved for sure over 9.2. So don't get me wrong, everyone. I do think there are improvements, just not where I want to see them. So we'll go in the next video. I am going to make a short clip going to the outlets, and then we're going to go to Asheville from there to do our testing. Thanks, everyone.